Hello viewers, myself Deepak Agarwal, B.Tech Electronics and Communication from Gyanvihar University, Jaipur. With my colleague Hemra Singh is here for the presentation part of the major project we have done in our seventh semester, that is the microcontroller based monitoring system. A better word for it will be a college monitoring system. It's a very economic and a very efficient microcontroller based uh, monitoring system. So let me come to the introduction of the project part. So, Let's have an overview of the project and overview of the component. Well, the following are the control switches that is from S1 to S8. The, here is the main switch that is, um, is controlled with the 9 volt battery supply. Here is the regulator IC7805, a buzzer that will provide the beep sound and an audio identification to the monitoring system. The display section that is a display screen that will provide a visual identification with the corresponding LEDs. Well, now let uh, comes to the working part and uh, I will request a team to carry on with the same. Thank you, Deepak. As far as the working of this project is concerned, we have used a 9 volt battery. When the switch is in on state, then first of all, the current goes to the voltage regulator IC. The voltage regulator, the main role of voltage re, uh, regulator IC is to prevent the circuit from short circuiting and from thermal breakdown and it also provides a constant output to the circuits. Now, when the switch is in on state, uh, first we press, uh, suppose for demonstration, first we press the switch S1. When we pre press the switch S1, then the display screen displays the number 1. But how does it mainly display the number one on the screen? So we have used a microcontroller IC here. For the microcontroller IC, this, this section is termed as port 0, this section is uh, termed as port 1, and this section is termed as port 2. Port 0 is mainly used for the output, which is connected to the display screen, the buzzer, and the LEDs. The port 1 is used for the input, and the port 2 is for the LEDs. Now, when we uh, press any switch, suppose we have pressed the switch S1, then 1 is displayed on the screen, the buzzer goes on and the LEDs pass. Now, in case when the switch S1 is in on state and we also switches the uh, switch S2, then in this condition, S2 will not correspond because it shows that S1 is already in use and the user will, uh, will be uh, neglected from using the switch S2. So this was mainly the working. For providing the timing of the buzzer and the LEDs, we have used a RC circuit here. This is the crystal oscillator and these are the two capacitors which makes a clock and provide the clock timing for the display screen and the buzzer. This was mainly the working or the technical working of this circuit. Now as far as the applications are concerned, this will go with the deeper. Well, thanks a lot, Hemu. Uh, well, uh, for the application part, uh, the <coughs> here, uh, basically the circuit can be used for uh, the busy places. For example, the uh, hotels, uh, the colleges, where you know a reception uh, needs to contact many of the persons, and it is very uh, inconvenient to use the telephones and any other medium to call them. So, for example, if a reception has to uh, Receptionist has to call a person who is working there. A display section can be put on on the controlling uh, panel. Where for example he wants to call out uh, the person who has been engaged with number 1. Then he will press number 1 and he will came to know that I am, I am called. For example number 2 person has been called. The correspondingly the number will shows and uh, the respective person can reach to the place. So overall it is a very economical, efficient and a well-planned system for using as a control monitoring system. Well, that's for our part. Thank you.